When I was a kid, there was a bounty of monarchs and uh, every winter you could go to a variety of eucalyptus groves and shake a branch and a, a thousand monarchs would fly off and it looked like computer animation and we just all took it for granted. In the 1980s, when I was a kid, there was three to five million monarch butterflies in California. They, there was a precipitous decline in which they went down to 300,000 in the whole state. Another year, they went down to 20,000 in the whole state. And in 2020, they went down to 1,850 monarchs in the entire state of California, and they were in an extinction vortex. So it was in 2021, I decided to dedicate uh, a large portion of our land and my time to trying to help the monarch butterflies. I started doing some research and I called someone named Mia Monroe, a ranger with the National Park, who's the foremost monarch expert in our area. And she also works with the Xerxes uh, Society for the Preservation of Invertebrate, uh, Vertebrates. And um, she put me in touch with Xerxes and they made a plant list and suggested in this initial parcel of land, I could plant 1,200 native nectar plants to support uh, a hopeful rebound of the monarchs. And I started buying plants and bought thousands of native nectar plants and started putting them in the ground. With all this extra watering I was doing, it put a real strain on that water system and was gonna burn it out. So what we did with the help of draws and malt, which was a godsend, is we put a new water tank in our growing area and we have a dedicated water system for our butterfly operation and to water all the several thousand native nectar plants to help the monarch butterflies. Uh, the first year we only saw a couple monarchs but last year we saw a, a pretty sizable a return of the monarch butterfly population. Oh, oh there's a monarch! <laughs> um, we just saw a monarch there's hopeful signs in that they are returning. And Mia Monroe once told me there's, there's certain species that when you help them, they're sort of figurehead species that people really love, like a salmon or a steelhead or a monarch butterfly. They're a species that capture the imagination. And when you help one of those species, you inadvertently end up helping many others.